Let's go to the South Bay now. Developing news, San Jose's Planning Commission has passed a plan now to bring a new Costco to the city, but many neighbors there aren't wild about the idea. They're worried about the noise. They're worried about the extra traffic it might bring. Crown Force Michael Thomas following what comes next. Dozens of protesters from the group Save West Valley continue to argue traffic safety concerns here at this proposed Costco location. But despite their concerns, well, the City Planning Commission still moved Costco on to the next steps of meeting with City Council. And if that gets approved, well, these buildings behind me would be knocked down and one huge wholesale store would be put in. This proposed Costco location is in a small parking lot that's shared with the Trader Joe's off of Prospect Road and borders San Jose and Saratoga. It sits near schools and homes on Graves Avenue where kids walk daily. And Dorothy Angus, who lives nearby, says that's why it's a problem. It's a crazy parking lot in there, but the kids at Prospect High... It makes it um, tricky for them. The plan is to demolish three buildings and replace them with one giant Costco, revamping the entire parking lot as well. The megastore says they'd add a sound wall to reduce noise, give a million dollars towards pedestrian safety, and the city says more sidewalks would be added and roadways nearby would be widened by four to eight feet. But neighbors say it's still not enough. That sounds like a lot of song and dance. I just, you know, don't... I don't see it. It's just way the heck too big to be here. If they made a mini Costco, maybe. Costco says the store would bring anywhere from 250 to 300 jobs to the area and hopes to have full approval soon, regardless of what their possible new neighbors might say. Without a pedestrian bridge, students would die. We did reach out to Costco for a comment this morning and are still waiting to hear back. That's the very latest here in San Jose. I'm Michael Thomas. I'll send it back to you live in the studio. All right, Michael, thank you.